Hey everybody, today I'm going to prune this mulberry tree. This is the Pakistan mulberry, third year in the ground. We're here in Southern California, zone 10B, January. It's our winter and the tree is defoliated. The wind's knocked all the leaves off. Usually I take the leaves off on my own, but this tree needs a pruning because look, I pruned this tree last year here. That's the cut I made last year, last January. And look at the growth that occurred after that. Look at that. That's over 10 feet of growth. This tree now stands about 15, 16 feet tall. It's an insanely fast grower. Here's another cut I made last year. I cut there and this is all growth that occurred within the last year. So it needs another pruning. And uh, before I prune any tree, I ask myself, what's my goal? What do I want to achieve? And in this case, I just want to achieve height control. I don't want this tree to be so tall because it blocks light to the reed avocado, which is right here. And uh, I want to achieve height control also because I want to reach the fruit. I don't want to shake the tree or, you know, get a ladder to, to access the fruit. And I also, I want to achieve an open globe, an open shape. So any branches that go towards the center of the tree, which is the, right here, I always imagine a, li a, a line going up from the center. Any branches that face inward, I'm going to take it out because I want to be able to reach in here and grab fruit. So. I'm gonna prune with those two things in mind. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, I'm making my first cut. I'm gonna cut this branch. Cause it's going straight up like over 10 feet, three meters. So I'll cut it back. Let's see, I'll cut this as well. Because it's gone, all the branches that go in towards the center of the tree is gonna come out. Uh, we'll cut this. And basically I'm cutting all these. So do you see this cut? One long branch, I'm gonna cut it in half. Hopefully with the aim, with the goal of having this node and this node branch out and have a more complex branching structure. That's the goal. And I'm, I'm cutting at an angle. You see, I'm, I'm not making a straight cut. I'm cutting at an angle on purpose because when it rains, the water will fall off the cut. And because uh, if water accumulates on the cut area, it's not good for the tree. I'll get a ladder and I'll cut I'll cut those branches up there, those tall ones. And I think we'll be done after that. Alright guys. We'll cut here. That's about five feet. And we'll cut here. And we'll cut here. And that's height control. I'll cut this too. I'm controlling height. Each branch I cut will send out two other branches once it starts growing. One branch here, one branch here. I want a more complex branching structure. That means there's more fruit. More branches, more fruit. So here's an example of what I was just talking about. I cut this branch right here last year, if you can see, and then I did that cut last year and since then one branch and another branch grew out after this one cut. So I want to double the branches again. So if I cut here and here, there's going to be two branches that shoot out from underneath it. And that means more fruit. So I'll do that right there and right there. And just like that, next in this upcoming season, we'll get a branch coming out here and another there. Just like it happened down here. And that's kind of the idea. You want that complex branching structure because all of this is going to make fruit. All of this is going to make fruit. All of this is going to make fruit. So, mulberries fruit on last year's wood basically. 
So we're gonna have fruit all over here. It's really up to me how I want to have as a complex branch structure as I want. Uh, it's really up to me. And, and you see here, here's some crossing branches. This is a crossing branch. It's not really ideal. You don't really want that. It's not gonna. It's not gonna grow right. So I'll get rid of one, and we'll leave the other one. So I'm decided to get rid of this one, and that's it. Now this branch has room to grow, like that. And that's about it. And this branch, I'll let this branch fruit. Cause this branch is gonna fruit. After it's done fruiting, I'm gonna cut it because it's going in towards the center of the tree, which is right here. This is the center of the tree. And I don't want any kind of branches going in towards the center. I want an open globe. I want an open area right here in the center because I want light to go in. I want wind air to pass through and uh, light and wind going through the tree is really healthy for it. It uh, prevents kind of disease and these kind of things. So, all right guys, so this will, all of these cut branches will not go to waste. I will grow this from a cutting. I'll grow some of these from cuttings. You can get a lot of mulberry trees off this one branch. All you really need is a few notes and you put it in the ground. In fact, we'll do an experiment with this one. We're gonna stick this branch straight in the ground over there and we'll see if a tree will grow out. Uh, yeah, that'll be a fun experiment. We could try that. And yeah, so nothing's going to waste. All the leaves I took off were used as mulch as well. And uh, yeah, we're done, for, we're done with pruning. Thanks everybody. Thanks for watching, bye.